Lauren Sanchez is purposefully avoiding the Mega Aviation Awards, where it's suspected that Meghan Markle is attempting to borrow her private jet, the G650. Sanchez, a prominent figure in both the media and aviation industries, is slated to receive the prestigious Alan Harverson Vertical Flight Hall of Fame Award at the 21st Annual Living Legends of Aviation Awards. This recognition solidifies her position as a trailblazer in the industry, being the founder of Black Ops Aviation, the first female-owned aerial film and production company. At 54 years old, Sanchez has forged a unique path by combining her passions for storytelling and aviation, earning her the respect of industry leaders. Her journey began in Los Angeles, where she pursued a degree at the University of Southern California through a scholarship. Despite initially gaining recognition for her on-camera charisma in television shows like Extras and Good Day LA, it was the allure of the sky that captivated her. In 2011, Sanchez embraced the challenge of flight training, overcoming dyslexia to obtain her pilot's license. Her tenacity and dedication led to the launch of Black Ops Aviation in 2016, allowing her to blend her love for filmmaking with aviation in an unprecedented way. Sanchez's trailblazing spirit and expertise as a pilot have not gone unnoticed, as seen in her consultancy on Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk and her role as an aerial producer for Miss Bala. Now, as the fiancé of Amazon billionaire Jeff Bezos, Sanchez is celebrated alongside aerospace icons such as Harrison Ford and Tom Cruise, receiving the living legend of aviation's highest honor for vertical flight, the Ellen Har Vertical Flight Hall of Fame Award. Acting Executive Director of the Living Legends of Aviation, Stacey Ulner, describes Sanchez as a role model and true inspiration for women in aviation. She will be inducted at a gala in Beverly Hills, California, hosted by John Travolta, alongside Fred George, Steve Hinton, and Prince Harry. The speculation about Meghan Markle's interest in Sanchez's private jet adds a layer of intrigue to the event with suggestions that Meghan is using the occasion to network and possibly secure Bezos's attention. The timing of the award, coinciding with Harry and Meghan's desire to engage with influential figures, adds an element of humor and speculation to the situation. Meanwhile, Prince Harry has become powerless as Meghan Markle's mother, Doria Ragland, is set to move into their Montecito home. Royal biographer Angela Levin said Harry, the Duke of Sussex, would be outnumbered in his own home if reports of Doria moving in with them turned out to be true. Speaking with GB News on how comfortable Meghan Markle would be if Doria comes to live with the couple, Levin also said it would not be good on Harry's part. He's two against one, Levin said of Prince Harry, adding, he's been outnumbered since he met Meghan and her mother. He's given in, he walks behind them, she added. He has no power. You don't feel that he's making decisions. The decisions come from Meghan. Levin continued, Harry has shrunk in every single way. She writes his speeches, she tells him what to do. Just pushing him here and there, moving him to different places like you might do to a child. 